I'm Danny Lopardo. You might have seen the headline about the state taking over the Sacramento City Unified School District next year if it doesn't make drastic cuts. So we wanted to know, how did things get to this point? What exactly does this mean for students? And has this ever happened in California before? Well, I learned that it's only happened eight times in 27 years. Now, if the state takes over, the district wouldn't be able to negotiate any contracts and it would lose control over which programs get cut. As for how we got here, well, the financial crisis and management team, which is essentially a financial advisor for the state, told me the district has a long history of ups and downs when it comes to financial problems. But what's really led to the state possibly taking over in 2019 has to do with the district spending more money than it has. So where did all the money go? Well, the district tells me it's gone to a very expensive health care plan that teachers have. And so far, four out of five unions have agreed to switch to a more affordable plan. However, there's one that the district says it's still trying to negotiate with, and that's the Sacramento City Teachers Association. Now, both parties are scheduled to have a meeting about this next month. Daniela Pardo, ABC 10 News.